Hi everyone, uh, my name's Edie and welcome to my channel. I want to thank Denise for inviting me to take part in this collab today. I am sitting here in downtown Salt Lake waiting to get into a concert that I'm attending tonight. And I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and just tell you kind of about my journey, where I've been, where, I've, where I'm going, and kind of where I'm coming from. Um, I have struggled with my weight my entire life. I remember in third grade, I think, yeah, it was third grade and I was up, I had been taken to a specialist in Seattle, Washington, and I weighed 108 pounds. And it's just been the whole, a whole mess the whole time since then. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Various things, some not very healthy things, some not very smart things. Um, and I mean, I've done everything from, you know, Metafast or whatever it's called now to um, Diet Center to, I've tried Weight Watchers earlier on, a lot earlier on. And I've lost a lot of weight on those lose weight fast things. Now here's the problem that I found with losing weight fast was that when I started eating real food again, instead of the bars and the shakes and the chips that taste nasty but you eat them because you're supposed to, um, I find that the weight comes on really, really quickly even more quickly than it came off and um, I've tried keto um, keto worked lost weight but it's not a very realistic lifestyle for me um, oh I love me my protein don't get me wrong I love me my fats but I was dying without fruit. I was dying without a lot of things that you just aren't supposed to eat on keto. So after the keto fiasco, and let me just tell you, I spent a grundle of money on keto cookbooks. Hello. Never found a bread that tasted good. Not one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you can tell me all you want that cauliflower can taste like bread, but I think you're gravely Ill, if you think that's the truth. Ugh. Um, and that's probably why I can't eat cauliflower or broccoli anymore. They used to be my favorites and I can't, oh, makes me physically ill to look at them. Can't do it. So I decided to do Weight Watchers full on. And here's the reason why. And I hope that you will find a similar reason for you as well. You can eat anything you want. It is absolute freedom from the diet mentality. You budget your, your finances. You budget, if you're smart, you do. You budget your finances. You budget time for various activities that you enjoy. You budget time for exercise. You have to budget time for work. So budgeting food is no different. And what I have found is that, yeah, I'm losing weight kind of slowly, but I think that's okay. Um, since I've been on Weight Watchers, I'm down 35 pounds. Um, since I started like hemming and hawing and getting off keto and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, it's about 50 pounds, 55 pounds I've lost. Oh, excuse me. Um, but the last 35 pounds that I've lost with Weight Watchers have been the most enjoyable. And here's why. Um, if I want to eat a horrible, terrible for you hamburger at cheese at uh, McDonald's, I can do that. Um, and I don't have to feel guilty about it. I have spent 50 years of my life feeling guilty about the food choices that I make. And I'm done. I'm done. I think it's a negative emotion that doesn't need to be there. So if I want to eat it, I eat it. And you know what? The scale is going down. It's going down slowly. But I'm okay with that. Because another thing that happened to me when I lost weight quickly was I, I didn't believe that I was the size that I was. 
Um, I was wearing like a size 16, 18, and I would still go to the 22, 24 section. And I'm like, oh wow, those are, those are big. Those are too big. And, um, I wasn't really comfortable with the change. I noticed that people treat you differently when you're thinner. Um, and I wasn't comfortable with that kind of attention. Um... Which is ironic, completely, because I'm a theater person from head to toe, um, stem to stern, everything, and you think we're all about uh, attention, but sometimes you're just not. So anyway, my husband's on this journey with me, as is my daughter-in-law, which, again, makes it much easier to do, because I don't have to worry about other people sabotaging my goals. And I have learned the hard way that you need to make choices and be with people and associate with people who are not going to sabotage your goals for better health. So that's where I am. I have another oh, 120 pounds I want to lose. Um, but I'm confident that I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it the healthy way, guys. And I think that if you don't give Weight Watchers a chance... And if you kind of think that you're just going to fail on it, you need to do some serious evaluation and realize that this isn't a diet. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. And I'm really loving the lifestyle. So I want to thank um, Denise for inviting me. I hope that I said something helpful for somebody. And I hope you come on over to uh, my channel as well as all those channels listed below so that you can learn about other people and their journeys too. Um, my channel is all about putting good food out there. Happiness. That's what it is. So come on over and I hope that um, we can join together and lose weight on the Weight Watchers journey together. Let's just be a big Weight Watchers family, people, and we'll all be successful. Thanks so much. Bye.